Now I'd like to show you something interesting. We learned previously how you can type in the P Ruby keyword followed by something else, hit the play button, and then have that thing, in this case the 50, displayed or printed in the terminal. Now until this point, we demonstrated simply one line of Ruby at a time. However, in Ruby and in every programming language, you can actually write multiple lines of code. So let's do P50, but on the next line, we will do P100. And then on the following line, P1 plus 1, and then P5 times 5. And let's see what happens when we run the play button. We can see that we get four values displayed in the terminal, 50, 100, 2, and 25. In other words, we have typed in the text editor four lines of code, and when we run that code, all four lines get run. Now you can also see that the lines get run in the order from top down in which we've written them. So since we've written P50 on line one, it is the 50 that gets displayed first in the terminal. And then of course the 100 and then the two and the 25. In general, it is crucial to note that lines of code get run in a top down fashion. So first Ruby reads line number one and executes it. Then it reads line number two and executes it. And when I say execute, I mean runs it. Ruby then moves on to line number three and runs it. Then it moves on to line number four and runs it. So what I refer to as the code flow, that is the way that the flow of the code occurs, is top down, one line at a time. So we have four lines of code. Ruby runs them, line one first, and then line two, and then line three, and then line four, which explains why we get the 5100, 2, and 25 in our terminal in that particular order.